Hi guys, I'm back and today I'm going to show you my f November favorites and I can't believe it's almost Christmas again. Christmas time! Do they know? No. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite times of the year because A. it's cold, B. Uh, there are sales everywhere so Black Friday and Cyber Monday have come and gone and <laughs> <laughs> and so this is a very joyful happy time and everyone is a little kinder to one another so yeah I like this time of the year so let's start with my favorites in general I have a few things I wanted to talk about not many this this month but um I wanted to show you anyway so my allergies are acting up for some reason I don't know why because they usually act up in the summer they've acted up all through the summer last summer so I was expecting to have a quiet weekend <laughs> weekend winter at that in that sense of the allergy season but no that's not happening and here I am with my anti-histamine as I as I am in the summer and during the hotter months so my skin used to be covered in the little eczema. You probably can't see it anymore. It's it's just a rash and it's uncomfortable for me because it's it flares up and it itches and it's not comfortable to be in my own skin that way. So um, I've used um, a concentrate uh, by Etat Pure. Um, this is very very helpful. This concentrates for people who have rashes and. Um, easily offended skin like Helen Hiren says that's a, a wonderful expression my skin is very easily offended she just goes like N you did not just say that I'm gonna flare up to you <laughs> so yeah uh, this one helps a lot this is the routine uh, peau coupe rose which means uh, red, red skin reddened skin with coupe rose which is um, the um, early state of rosacea and this actually helps a lot in the redness and to calm the skin in general. So, big thumbs up for this. Unfortunately, this brand does not is not sold generally in Portugal. I can only find it when it goes on sale on Showroom Privé, which is a site, a discount site. Um, but it's sold in France and in England and in Spain. So I hope someday they'll bring this to Portugal because this is awesome, awesome, really. And then, uh, continuing on skincare, I've started with skincare. I've also started using this um, this uh, day cream by Rodile, which is the stem cell superfood day cream with SPF 15, which is a bit enough for me in, in the in the winter or at least in the cloudier days because Portugal is a very very sunny country and our sun is very strong so usually I use SPF 50 summer and winter but I find that this SPF 15 is enough for, for this month so um, I really like this, this day cream because it's very uh, luminous um, it's white but you can see it gives a, an awesome glow for dry skins this is a, a very very nice day cream. It's hella expensive. Once again, I bought it at Showroom Privé uh, when it was discounted. It's hella hella expensive. This day cream. I I'm not sure if I would give the full price for this. It's a very lovely cream. It has a beautiful scent. It's um it's a very um pleasant cream to use. Not a very pharmaceutical and practical cream like most creams I actually do use but uh, it's hell expensive for what it is um, it has the oil uh, of this line supposedly so it's a very nourishing cream but a bit expensive in my opinion if you want to splurge if you want to motivate yourself to use a, a day cream in the mornings this would be a good product for that for that use um, but yeah I'm not sure I would buy it again <laughs> probably if I find it discounted again I will um, but it depends so next up I'm going to do the hair first because then I'll just do makeup which is most of what I have here I bought this uh, dry con heat refresh dry conditioning by H&M Beauty a while ago 
this is as the name says a dry conditioner and I I thought there goes my cell phone again I thought this was a um, uh, dry conditioning like the one from macadamia I'm not sure if you know it but it's um, a foaming dry conditioner that you wash your hair basically with that instead of the the normal shampoo which leaves your hair more conditioned and it's like you skipped a wash because it's very uh, nourishing and etc. This is not like that at all. This is actually dry. You, you're meant to use it on dry hair like this, on the ends and lengths of your hair. And this is a very cool product in my opinion. Not for everyone and maybe not for me, <laughs> but I'll, I'll, explain, I'll explain why. This is a very, very light conditioner. Which means if uh, oils dry, uh, weigh down your hair, if, um, if many styling leave-in products leave your hair feeling greasy and weighed down, uh, I'll be sure to check this out because this is a very light conditioner and it does have some oils but they're very very light and the diffuser, the aerosol, makes it very very dispersed throughout the hair so as you can see my hair doesn't look greasy at all and I've sprayed it quite close now so um, it's a very good product for thin and easily weighted down hair so if you have that kind of hair do check it out if you have really dry hair mine is actually really dry but I do like this to use I use the oil in one day and then this and then the oil and then this um, if uh, if you have really dry coarse hair skip this because you'll find that it does nothing for you so this has a very specific purpose and a very specific kind of people that should be using this so yeah thumbs up for that and it's a really nice product the, the scent is also really nice but it, it gives you a cloud of conditioning so you're like <coughs> For half an hour you're coughing <laughs> and <laughs> just <laughs> breathing it out for an hour it's it's not the most untoxic uh, product let's put it this way maybe then makeup Woo -hoo, my favorite <laughs> right now so first of all I wanted to talk about this this is an amazing palette it was given to me recently uh, by uh, the, the store kitchen makeup boutique which is one of my favorite stores in Lisbon uh, it's really cool, but this is the Zoeva Antop um, palette, as the name would suggest. This is um, you get a lot of product for 22 euros, I think. You have uh, 10 eyeshadows, uh, you have mattes, you have shimmers, you have uh, satins, you have everything you could possibly need in one palette, and it doesn't stand behind in like urban decay quality for example it's not much worse it's not as buttery probably but it's not as expensive too but it, they're really blendable they're really nice quality and you have a lot of uh, variety from this I'm wearing it today actually I'm wearing this exquisite shade uh, with this outline shade in my um, in my mobile uh, crease so and in my crease itself I'm wearing exquisite so this is a very very nice product and a very nice Christmas gift without being too expensive um, I would check this out if you like cold colder tones um, like uh, colder eyeshadows like this one these ones are I would really check it out because this is an, an amazing amazing palette and also they have some quite hard to find shades in here they don't look like much but believe me they are like this one here this one how hour by hour this is a very hard to find crease shade it, it warms up your eye and it's a very lovely transition shade and also this one stitch by stitch this is a, a, a matte a matte illuminating shade that is so pigmented so pigmented I, I don't have any shade shadow and um, this color that is as pigmented as this one. I'm going to review this palette in depth and I'm probably going to make um, some looks wearing it so you have some ideas of how to use it if you do buy it. Um, let me know if you'd like to see some tutorials with this palette and I will post a review sooner than later so 
be sure to check that out when it's on <laughs> on my vlog. And then, oh, I have no, I have a, a cheek product, and then it's all lips. Believe it or not, of course you believe it. I bought this mini uh, two fist set, which was freaking adorable. And with it, it came this blush, which is the I Love Flush Long Lasting 60, 16 Hour Blush in Justify My Love. This color is not available in Portugal. I, I don't know if it's available in Europe in general, but I know that here it's not available because I checked the, the Too Faced counter. And it's a lovely pink. It has a little bit of a uh, golden shimmer. It's a little bit powdery. Um, I'm not gonna, gonna lie, but so pigmented. This tiny, tiny blush is going to last me forever because this is so concentrated and pigmented that I I doubt that I'll finish it in the near future, let's put it this way. So uh, this is a very nice buy if you would like to try this blush and this formula in general. Um, and the color is very flattering, especially on paler skin tones. So. I do recommend to check this out while you can because these, these kits are a limited edition. And then, I, I don't know why I don't talk about this more often. This is the By Terry Dancidis, ter, Terribly Dancidis Concealer. Uh, and this is the best concealer I've ever used. Period. I'm wearing it today. It's basically invisible on the eyes. It's not the most high coverage. You can't have both, no, you can't, just can't. Either you get high coverage and a little bit cakey, or low coverage and really, really natural. Choose one. That's life. And this one is the most perfect one I've ever used. It's so light and airy, like, like the name says, it's a serum concealer, so it's really thin and not at all gloopy or cakey. And it's really nice. I'm going also I'm going to make a review of this because I, I was just wearing it the other day and I was thinking I can't believe and I've never talked about this in depth in my blog because it's so worth it it's very expensive don't get me wrong it's like 50 something euros it's ridiculous for a concealer but believe me it's worth it <laughs> that's the worst part it's worth it <laughs> ah, okay I'm going to review it and I'm going to tell you all about it in the review and why I love it and why I think you should go and spend 50 euros on a concealer on a whim. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm crazy. So yeah, all the other products from my favorites are just uh, lip products. <laughs> so first of all, this lip oil by Clarin, which was released last year. Um, this is the Eclat Minute Will Confort Lèvres. And it's a lip oil, as the name which it would suggest. It gives an awesome glow and gloss on your lips. I'm not, I'm not wearing it today. I'm wearing lip gloss. But um, it's an awesome glow and you can wear it outside without a, without a problem. It's not very practical to, to apply lipsticks over it because it, as it is very glossy, it would separate and be funky. But it's very comfortable. It smells super nice and leaves your lips completely restored uh, after like five minutes so this is a the, one of the best lip products i have in my house and i definitely must have for the winter if you have if you suffer from chapped lips a lot do invest in this you're we won't regret it it's much better than any chapstick you can find at the drugstore or at the supermarket so do invest in that if you have that kind of problem pro problem ah, i'm dyslexic today are concerned in general. Also Clarin, they released this year um, this, uh, or, or better, they re-released Jolie Rouge uh, this year, which is a, their a creamy lipstick with a, uh, they're also very hydrating, they have a, a shine version, but this is, is the creamy version actually. And they sent me two to test, and this is my favorite curl color by far. I've been wearing it a lot. It's called Roseberry, and as the name would suggest, <laughs> it's a pink berry shade. It's very neutral and nude, and it's a very, very pretty shade um, to wear with a smoky eye, to wear on its own. Very, very good. My lips look better shade. 
and also this I've been pairing it with this lip liner which is in 01 Nude Fair because um, it's a bit brownier but they go really well together and they make the perfect nude hydrated lip combo because I don't like matte nude lips I think they're very flat and you get flat in general unless I'm doing a more um, going out at night look with a, a sparkly smoky eye and etc I don't really like um, matte nudes this one however I've been wearing a lot really a lot lately and also I do like darker matte lips for me there's that that's a must because darker lips can go everywhere when they're not matte and this one is the Rouge Pure Couture uh, the mattes by Yves Saint Laurent and this is the number 206 and it's a very dark brown brown in general I, I was going to say red it has a bit of red but it's brownier than it is red and in lips you get a lot of red so um, I do love this shade this is as brown as I would go in the darker shades because brown doesn't flatter me at all I'm already too brown you know not in the skin but in the hair in the eyebrows in the eyes so I do love this shade this is so flattering on everyone in every single skin tone I think this will look amazing so if you can check this out i'm not sure if, if this was limited edition this shade in particular but this formula oh man this formula this, these are my favorite lipsticks probably the rouge pure ones because they're super creamy this matte these matte ones are matte but also very creamy which is uh <laughs> supposedly not not possible but as you can see it's matte it hasn't doesn't have much shine but they're they glide on like butter they're so comfortable they're so pretty they're not the best to reapply I wouldn't advise to uh, layer and layer it because it will look weird so you have to uh, get a tissue get it off and then do another layer because this one does not layer too well that's my only meh about it I hope you loved this favorites. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and stick around for more, more videos. Please subscribe if you liked it because you'll get updates and all that. And please check my blog too, which is makedown88.blogspot.com. And there's Facebook, which is Makedown. And then you have Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, which is Makedown88. I hope to see you in the next video and stay well. Bye!